Let's start this DIY. I'm going to make a fall norm or gnome and this is going to be utilizing the fall colors and some hay or straw. One can even use raffia. So first thing I found a container which is half the length and size out of my socks and I just put it in and it's a neat base for the body of the knob. Now this portion is little too much so I'm going to fold it in to form the top head. Conical head will be formed because of this extra bulk going inside. Bunch the top and one can either glue it, use thread and needle or I'm just going to use a elastic band or a rubber band and just secure it there. It will stay. Now let's make the beard. So I took some jute rope and all I'm going to do is, you know, this, my four fingers, it, it's about this much. So I'm just going to bind some jute rope around my fingers like this. And I have a bunch, just like a tassel. And if I just spread it out like this, bringing the loop down to the base and here on the top, I'm just going to add some tape and secure the top portion. So that's the bed of my knob. Now this end of the straw has got this fine uh, things coming out. The flowers have been shed, these are fine and this is the straw kind of thing. So I'm going to take two such bunches. Now I have to know the length, so this should be the length and I'm going to cut them using scissors. A little messy DIY but it looks nice. <laughs> and each on each side one on each side oh yeah now one can add a little extra here and there so here i have the basic body of the norm ready and then I have this piece of fabric, it has this rusted orange color and it has this blue border. Though I would have preferred to have a different color on the edge but because I have this I'm going to use it. So I'm just uh, keeping it flat like this and I'm going to attach it like this around and luckily the edge has come right at the back I'll just glue the edge and close it here so that it becomes a cap like this next thing next thing uh, I'm just going to hold everything together this will become the tassel the same color tassel in the border Again, I'm using a little rubber band or elastic band to secure it, just easy way out. But I'm not leaving it like that. I'm taking a little piece of jute rope and I'm going to make a simple bow there to finish it so that the elastic band or the rubber band is not seen. And my fall norm looks pretty dressed. So this will come like this when it stands and I'll have the cap like this. I've placed it like this so that I can do my decoration on this. Next thing to finish the face, I need to cover this area, add a nose here. So I took a wooden button. It's about an inch wide and I'm going to place it such that I cover the tape and just on the border and on the bed. So that's the position for this and then I have this uh, it's kind of dull here so I have this piece of sponge and uh, a small piece or you can use a pom pom for the same and this will give that nice nose look and my fall norm with hay straw is ready.
Hi and welcome to Creative DIY with Moom Das. You noticed I have changed the name of my channel. That's my first announcement. So I changed my old name of the channel that was Moom Das Life Fan Made. I felt it was like life improvement skills kind of the name. So I thought I could change it into Creative DIY with Moom Das. I think this depicts what I actually do on my channel. Lots of DIYs and crafts. I think they are creative too. Okay, now is my second announcement and it's a big announcement. At least I feel so. Uh, because I'm going to do a vlog tempo. So I'm doing a vlog tempo for the first time and there are going to be 23 videos distributed all through the September 2021. These videos will be on the weekdays, that is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, all five days of the week will have craft videos in it with the theme. It just happened uh, that I was decluttering and organizing my home and I found this old book. I don't know when, where and how I got this book. I tried reading it years back. I didn't like it, couldn't read the book. Uh, it just stayed inside a box for a long, long time. And this time when I was decluttering, I found this book again. Again, I tried reading. I could not read it. I was about to toss it away, send it to the recyclers. When I noticed that the pages have got all yellowed, stained, and it has that vintage look in it. And I was like, I can't destroy a book so I could never openly make an old book page craft because I didn't want to tear away pages from books but this book can't be used just can't be read so either it goes to the recycler or I use it for craft so I decided to dedicate a whole month to old book pages paper craft and create a block timber for you so if you are interested in this make sure that you are subscribed Check that the notification bell that you have clicked on is the all notifications bell and make sure that you are notified from YouTube about all the videos and community posts that I am putting on. Next I want to make a stack of hay or a hay bale. I think you can get them uh, ready made from some craft store for decoration but you can customize make them for your home, for your decor in specific size or you know the volume or that you want or the style you want if you have some straw or hay at hand. So I want to make something like this size, a farm size so that I can use on tier tray little decor. So it's basically cutting them into sections and making bundle. So I'm going to use this yarn which is nearly, it's like pale yellow color and it's nearly in this color shade of this so I'm going to use this for tying everything up together Messy DIY buys today Now here I have my bundle ready, I have just cut them of approximate size. Then the trick comes here. Now if I take a piece of cardboard which is very similar to the color as that of my hay or straw and is smaller in size as that of what I want to make. So I just place them in between and cover them all with the hay stack. So that will give this some skeleton you know a structure a frame to work with so here I have got two pieces of yarn or string lay them parallelly like this just a few inches away and then I place my stack of hay or hay bale with the cardboard piece inside it so I'm just going to tie a simple knot here 
for the time being. Now that the thing is slightly under control, the other piece, I'm going to hold it and wind it and then tie a knot. And secure with double knots so that the knot doesn't slip off. Now I can go back to my first string and tie it tightly. Before that, I'm just you know arranging it so that it you know, doesn't slip off and looks tidy. And little, just an inch or whatever, depending on your size of your bay, bale or haystack, you can tie. Keep a distance between two strings and tie it here. Now it's time to groom it. So all this too much coming out portions, you know, just slightly, just which is just too much out of the crowd. Just let the odd ones out. Just trim those, not much. These folded ones will eventually come out, so I need to cut them. So here I have a stack of hay or bales, hay bale, and I can use it for decor. I also made two small stacks of hay bundles, and these will be great as fillers for decorating for fall. So at the beginning of fall season, you can make these, and you can use it in your decor. I chose this video to share this fun haystack, hay bale, fall DIY crafts with you uh, because this is a platform called Sunday Funday where you can share anything and it's hosted by my dear friends Yani and Diane from Decoazy and Kay and Trish from Crafting Cousins and I'll put links to the channels and the playlist in my description box. No, nobody is sick in the house, thankfully. Thank God nobody is sick. I just took an empty medicine bottle. I have cleaned the inside. I'm not bothered about the label because this bottle as such is not going to be seen. I picked this bottle because it has got a narrow neck and because it's in dark color. Again, this socks. This single socks was feeling lonely, so I have to use it in some other way in my today's craft or DIY. So again, I have put the bottle inside and covered it. This is brown in color, looks like dark burlap and that's the reason why I'm using it. So I'm tying it around the neck using little jute string. Just two knots. Now this extra portion, I'm going to just fold it such that the neck of the bottle is not seen, like a collar. So it looks like a sack now, but has a bottle neck in which I can put things like a vase. One can glue, put some glue on this edge and secure it so that you are at no, no risk of uh, exposing what you have used it for. And this will stay put like this. Now remember, I showed you this portion of hay or straw. This is the flowering end and though the flowers and the seeds have dropped but they have this feathery textured look. So I'm just going to pick those ends of the haystack and make a bunch of flowers. I'll also use some extra straw in between just to give it a little more character. like this but this alone will not look nice so I took one just one single stem of flower which is not so overwhelming in color though you can use bright colors and insert it in between the straw maybe add some more and make my bouquet. 
So here I made my bouquet and I have cut the bottom. I checked the height that I require and I've trimmed the extra uh, pieces of straw from the bottom. Now, no unnecessary paints to be taken. Again, I used an elastic rubber band to tie up my bouquet. Now, I did not tie it right at the height of the neck of uh, the bottle. I tied it slightly below so that it already starts to spread out. So now I insert it. So the rubber band is neatly gone in and it has already started to spread around the neck and I have a base to decorate with using straw or hay. In perfect fall theme. I hope you liked my today's DIYs and my announcements. I'm so excited about starting my vlog temple. My first vlog temple post or the video is going to be posted on 3rd of September 2021. So stay tuned. I think we're all gonna enjoy this. <laughs>